Hi, I'm Bob. Let's find answers to the last two computer exercises today for Chapter Seven: Multiple Regression Analysis with Qualitative Information in the textbook Introductory Econometrics, the Seventh Edition by Jeffrey Woodridge. Computer exercise number sixteen is about the effect of attending Catholic high schools on math test scores. In the first part, we use the tabulate command to find the percentage of students attending a Catholic high school, and we use the summarize command to see the sample mean of math scores. Six point zero eight percent of the students in the sample attend a Catholic high school. The average of math twelve in the entire sample is fifty two point one three. We run a simple regression in part two. The estimated equation is as follows: The students who attend Catholic high schools have three point four six more points in the standardized math score on average than other students. In part three, we add three control variables. And the estimated equation is as follows: There were seven thousand four hundred and thirty observations used in the regression. The estimated coefficient on the variable Catholic high school drops to one point four seven seven. It is still statistically significant at the one percent level. With a t statistic of 3.53 and a p-value of zero to three decimal places, the number of observations is the same for the simple and the multiple regressions. In part five, we add the interaction terms to the model. Only the interaction between Catholic and log family income is statistically significant at one percent level. The other two interaction terms are not statistically significant at any conventional level. The F test shows that they are jointly insignificant. The F statistic is 1.21 and its p-value is 0.3037. For Part Six, the coefficient on Catholic high school becomes much larger because that is the estimate when log income and parents' education are all zero. It is not practical. For Part Seven, we use the margins command with the dy/dx option to obtain the average partial effect of attending Catholic high schools on math scores. We run the regression with three interaction terms using double hash tags in Stata. The three control variables are placed inside the parentheses after the two hash tags. Then we type margins, comma, the option dy/dx. And the variable Catholic high school inside the wrong bracket. The average partial effect is close to that in Part Three. Let's find answers to computer exercise number seventeen. In nineteen ninety eight, seven point one seven percent of workers were unemployed, while in nineteen ninety six, thirty one point two four percent were unemployed. The percentage of unemployment dropped. It may be due to job training or other factors. The simple regression gives a slope estimate of zero point zero two six. It implies that the training program and unemployment are positively correlated. 
It is not statistically significant at any conventional level, with a t statistic of 1.08 and a p-value of 0.28. The simple regression model suffers from reverse causality because unemployed workers are more likely to participate in the job training program. The model does not suggest a causal effect of job training on unemployment. In part three, we add four other explanatory variables to the model. The estimated training effect becomes minus 0.121, meaning that the job training program reduces the unemployment rate by 0.121, holding other variables in the model fixed. The effect is statistically significant at the one percent level. Since we have controlled for the difference in past earnings ability, education, age, and marital status between the two groups of workers, defined by whether they participated in the program, we tend to obtain the causal effect of the training program on employment. In part four, we add the centered interaction terms to the model. The estimated average treatment effect of the training. Is the coefficient on the variable chain, which is minus 0.123. It is very close to that in Part Three. The standard error is also similar. My answer to Part Five is no. The interaction terms are not jointly significant at any reasonable level. For the last part. We run regressions separately for the control and treatment groups, the workers receiving job training and those not. We obtain the predicted employment status for each worker in the two states of the world, the control state and the treatment state. The average difference between the two states of the world is the average treatment effect of the job training program on unemployment. It is minus zero point one two three, the same as that in part four. It is more convenient in part four for obtaining a standard error. Thank you very much for solving the computer exercises with me. See you soon. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.